Excited. I'm excited uh, about this week. I love uh, tournament play. Um, we've got a great matchup. Uh, kind of the last game of the first Robin, our first first games, the last game, uh, night game on somebody's home floor. So uh, <clears throat> my team's excited um, and we'll be ready to play. Uh, this will be our eighth time playing Vegas in three years. Uh, every game seems to, if you don't look at the final score because of free throws and you know those situations at the end, but every game's been a one, two possession game with five minutes to go. And um, been battles, you know. Uh, this year's uh, games have been decided by three point shooting and good team defense. Um, and on their side, maybe not as good a shooting as they're used to. So, uh, again, I think it's a great matchup. I think it's great for the league. Uh, there's a lot to the game, I think, with us winning both regular season contests and then playing them on their home floor again. And um, I'm excited, like I said, my team's excited. So I don't know what our health will be. Tilly Foster, um, not sure where they'll be at by Thursday. Um, we'll see how it goes. Other than that, I'll take any questions you have. Well, I really feel David Foster's been a big, big factor, um, you know, in those games. You know, I feel that, you know, David Foster's the defensive player of the year. Uh, we'll see when it comes out. But I think he's really impacted games. I think our size, our length has impacted games. Um, I think our shooting has uh, been good in those games. And you, you've seen us enough to play when we can make shots our defense is good enough to win games. Um, you know, they, uh, if I'm looking at it right, look at their stats, Kyle. Their season, uh, I don't have their full season stats, but, you know, I think they're up over 70 some points and uh, we hold them to 65. So I think the combination of us making shots them having to take the ball to the net and our defense has made it hard for them. I think we've improved in a lot of areas. I think this is the best defensive team we've had since I've been here, uh, which is a great compliment to this group of guys with nine new guys, new guys in the playing group um, to understand our defense and maybe as good a league as it's ever been. Last year they said that. This year it's arguably maybe a better league than last year. You could argue that. And to have our defense where it is, uh, I'm very proud of that with the new guys. On the other hand, with the new guys, offensively, we have struggled. And uh, veteran guys that we needed to lean on on a consistent basis to score for us, to lead us, to lead us offensively, have not been consistent. And it's been a struggle. The offense, uh, you know, they talk about the defense being ahead of the ahead of the offense and things like that. I thought at one time our offense was ahead of our defense early in the year, and then our defense really took a jump before Christmas and into the Christmas break and into TCU and the start of the league. I thought our defense really took off, and our offense has struggled. So um, we need to get both going in the right direction, and hopefully we can work on that this week. And, and keep them both going in the right direction. You know, I don't look for, I don't look to the next game right now. You know, I didn't do that last year. We got to get through the first one and then we adjust. Our preparation is good, our defense is good. Um, you know, uh, I thought last year our defense was very good in the tournament. If you look at what we held people to and the shooting percentages for our three games there, we have a team that could do that again. Last year's team was better offensively you got to score down there, too. So I think a big part of our success in these three games will be if we can score. Well, disappointments started with, you know, Washburn getting hurt, missing training camp. Jay Watkins getting hurt, missing training camp. Um, not starting the season with those guys. I thought it was difficult to put pressure on our roster, um, put 
put put pressure on us. We were going to redshirt Sean Glover. He had to play. We needed him to play. And um, you know, right on down the line. Uh, so uh, the disappointments were the lack of having our team together on a consistent basis, the misdevelopment by my younger players who were hurt, my new players who were hurt, and our inconsistent lineups. Uh, disappointment in uh, our inconsistent play by my veteran players who needed to carry us. Uh, I felt at times I've coached my freshmen like seniors and my seniors like freshmen, and I've struggled with that. The things I've been excited about is the development of our young guys. Uh, Washburn is improving. Foster, to me, has had a terrific year has fit into the system like a glove. Needs to improve offensively, we all know that, but has fit into our system. Uh, Henderson, Hines, growing. Tavita has improved. Um, you know, just good stuff. Really good stuff uh, for our program and the future of our program.